This is the Anchor Solix PS3030 watt portable solar charger and I've just acquired this as kind of a replacement for another solar charger I have. Um, just looking for something newer and a little bit better condition than one of the ones I've already got. And you can see on the back here, it does have some specifications, which are probably pretty hard to read. But let me kind of show you what the features of it are, and uh, then we'll get it set up. And I'll show you how I like to use these to get uh, the most out of them. So with it in my hands here, you can see it's just a little over two pounds in size. It's just a little under 12 inches tall and about 11 inches across, I'm sorry, about 10 inches across. And the thickest part when it's folded up with the, the USB-C ports there, it's about an inch and a half thick overall. So very compact and actually, you know, about the size of, a, of just a standard eight and a half by 11 notebook, really. Um, it would fit in a backpack or a duffel bag really easily. Right here on the top, these are the ports. Um, when it is getting solar power, you will see a red dot there that indicates that there's solar power coming in and uh, available to go out to the ports. It has two ports. Um, it has a USB-C port. This is capable of uh, charging at five volts up to three amps or about 15 watts. So that's fast charging eligible. And then it has a USB type A port that is rated at five volts and 2.4 amps. So about 12 watts of output. You can charge two devices at the same time with this. Um, and I'll show you how to connect and charge to it later. As far as the overall dimensions unfolded, um, there's two snaps here. So you can do it this way. There's two snaps. It's got these eyelets here because it does come with a couple of carabiners and that would allow you to hang it using these eyelets. But you undo the two snaps and you unfold it and you can see that the solar panels are, you know, actually part of this plastic here. So I think this is very durable. Other brands of uh, solar chargers in this category this might be a, like a canvas with the panels are stitched in, but this seems to be pressed and formed in. So that was one of the things that really attracted me to this. As I unfold it, it's got four solar panels. Unfolded, it's actually just under 36 inches uh, along. And um, again, at the other end, you can see it has eyelets as well. So if you were to hang it by the eyelets, say facing the sun, you know, uh, in this case, I would be wanting to face this direction. Uh, that would be how you would do it. Let me do this. I'm going to get it set up on the ground, and then I'm going to show you how I like to plug in uh, the devices I use uh, and how we charge it. All right, so I've got the Anchor PS3030 watt solar panel kind of set up here as how I would normally use it. Like I said, I'm not a big hiker. I'm mostly sort of picnicking and and maybe camping a little bit. So I like to lay it out flat and uh, angle it up towards the sun. To do that here, I'm just using some bricks. You can see behind it here, if I get in the right position, I've just got some bricks under here. But angling more towards the sun is gonna help you get more power out of it, which is gonna help charge your devices faster. But I wanna show you how I've got a Galaxy S22 and a Victomax 10,000 milliamp hour battery and some cables. I just want to show you how we connect it. And uh, one of the things I love most about this is you can actually really charge two devices with this. And it does a pretty good job of it, which I've not found on a lot of solar panels of this size. So let me just grab, oh, hold on a second. Let me just grab the panel here. And so on the back, and I showed you this earlier, there's the two ports. We're going to start with the USB-C port because that's the one that puts out the most power. It'll put out up to 15 watts, so five volts at up to three amps. And to connect your phone to that, you're gonna need a USB-C to USB-C cable. Put that in there, and this one is happens to be a U-Green cable because I like their cables a lot. And then I've got just in a Galaxy S22. Let me put the panel back in place here. Let me put the panel in. So make sure it's getting power and then we'll plug in the phone and we should see, hopefully you'll be able to see it. I don't know if the screen's gonna be bright enough, but we should see the indication that it's charging. Yep, there we go. So now we know that it's charging. I'm gonna leave that connected. And then for the second port, I've got this 10,000 milliamp hour battery and I've got a USB-C uh, to USB-A cable. I'm gonna plug the USB-C end into the battery here. And then I'll pick up the panel as well. And we'll open up the USB-A port on here. This one's max capacity is 5 volts at 2 and at 2.4 amps. So about 12 watts is the max power. Get the right direction there. 
put that down like that. And now we've got both of the devices charging. You see the batteries charging there. I see it very well. It's flashing. It's 44%. And now we've got both devices connected and charging. And like I said, this is this is one of the few 30, this is the only 30 watt panel I've tested that actually does a good job of charging two devices at once. So that's made this anchor panel my new favorite uh, 30 watt portable solar charger.